Hey guys, it's your girl Design It's Me. Welcome back to Design It's Me Daily, where we design our own clothes, we design our own business, and we design our own lives. And in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make these super easy, very sexy thigh high boots. Now, these thigh high sock boots aren't your average thigh high sock boots. All right, this is not going to be an elf tutorial. We are actually gonna dissect a pair of socks, and these boots are going to fit to perfection. I've been wanting to make these thigh high sock boots for a very long time now and i figured what better time than now it's the fall um i'm gonna make them for myself anyways i figured why not film it all right so let's go ahead and get started you're gonna need your fabric an old pair of socks fabric scissors and some pins and of course here people we're gonna start by examining our very very old socks let's just go ahead and flip that over and we are going to dissect our socks into three different parts just go ahead and lay that out nice and flat grab your scissors and we are gonna cut through that poofy heel part all the way through this is going to be piece number one and then we are going to dissect piece number two into two parts. We are just going to snip through that seam, guys. Open it up. And we are going to snip through those two sort of dart seams that give the sock its shape as well. All right, so just kind of look at your socks and wherever you see seams or dots or whatever, just snip and open it up. The whole point is to get a flat pattern. Okay, so now that that is nice and flat, we are going to cut through this part. Just cut all the way through. Fantastic. And this is going to be piece number three. Okay, so we have one, we have two. And we have three now I'm just gonna trace out piece number one and guys just please keep in mind this does not need to be perfect we just need an estimate of a shape that we could use all right I'm just gonna add a half inch allowance to that pattern and I'm gonna add a half inch allowance to the side as well because on this side is going to have a seam all right so let me just take a scissors cut through that side seam okay so that we have our seam and of course the other side is going to be placed on fold all right so let's just insert our place on fold symbol and we're going to call this the top sock pattern and we're going to do the same thing to the other side of that sock all right just outline nice and easy and we are going to add half inch allowance to the side just like we did on the other side and we're going to add half inch at the top we're also going to add half inch at the bottom because this is our middle sock pattern all right let's just go ahead and cut the sides the other side is placed on fold so we're just going to insert our place on fold symbol fantastic we're not going to we're going to call this the middle sock pattern excellent so for that third piece guys just go ahead and lay this part out as flat as possible all right and give it a nice uh, clean trace estimate as close as you possibly could and once you have an average shape obviously we are going to uh, find the center and make sure that the shape is asymmetric all right so even though our shape is looking kind of all how right now when we cut it we are going to fold it down the center and make sure that the shape is asymmetric not asymmetric symmetric sorry guys all right so we're just going to call this a two area of sock pattern we're just going to put a notch on that on the middle part as well as the two area one inch in and that's just so that our 
those two parts could line up nice and neat okay now this is for the front part we are going to trace our top sock pattern and we are going to create a new pattern because baby these are thigh high socks all right so just go ahead and trace that pattern as is we are going to measure from the heel to your calf that was 10 inches for me and then we are going to measure from the heel to where you want your socks to stop all right y'all forgive my broken ruler my son broke my ruler that's why i've been freehanding everything for the longest while but just ignore that all right even though this uh line isn't straight when you line it up because this is the place on full line uh it is going to be straight anyways all right so measure the circumference of your calf divide that by two and um then you measure the circumference of your thigh divide that by two and you connect those lines all right it looks a little bit weirdly shaped right now but we will reshape that in a little bit all right so we're gonna call this the, the top tie high sock pattern <coughs> and it's cut one well it's cut two because it's obviously up here but you know what i mean all right i went ahead and reshaped the pattern a little bit trimmed off a little bit and because this fabric is very very stretchy just remember that it does not need to be your exact measurements it could be about an inch and a half to two inches smaller because the fabric does stretch so just keep that in mind okay so we're gonna attach the top sock pattern piece with our middle sock pattern piece go ahead and create your center notches if you don't already have your center notches on both pieces and we are simply going to connect those center notches and stitch our both pieces of fabric together using a French seam. I like to start from the center and just uh, stitch both sides that way it's perfectly symmetric on both ends. Great. So do the same thing to the other side. Go ahead and trim that excess fabric and we're going to flip it over and close off our front seam with a quarter inch stitch. All right, fantastic. Once that is done and you are satisfied with the way your seam looks, let's just go ahead and close that seam off, pin those uh, seams together and stitch all the way along your sock. Go ahead and trim off the excess, flip your sock over, and close off your front seam with yet another quarter inch stitch. Fantastic. So we're just gonna grab that uh, third part after we flip our socks over. Go ahead and examine it once you're happy with the way your seams look just go ahead and grab that sock portion and we are going to close off our sides aka our dots uh, for this uh, two area and once we have a perfectly bowl looking piece we are now going to attach that piece onto our sock all right so those two notches that we would have placed make sure to line your notches up to your notches secure it with a pin and just go ahead and stitch along the entire circumference with a front seam Once that is done, just go ahead and snip off your excess. And then we're gonna flip that over and close off our French seam.
Once that is done, I am just going to turn my silk over, examine my seams, make sure everything is nice and neat. And I'm going to grab a piece of elastic. This elastic should measure uh, the circumference of your thigh. Make sure it is nice and tight. Make sure it's not slipping. And we're just going to insert that into our fabric now guys this is just the method that i am using because this is my preferred method but you guys are free to create a tunnel in your uh fabric and then just take the elastic and thread it through that tunnel that way you have uh you can adjust um you could take out your elastic remove it anytime you feel like it adjust the length anything of that nature however i'm just using this method all right so i'm just securing that fabric and that elastic together all the way around and that is basically it guys all right, do this same thing to the other side of sock and there you have it. Once you're happy with the way your sock looks, of course, we are going to grab a pair of heels and this is just the preferred pair of heels that I use. They are pointy tip heels. And by creating this sock, I am now able to convert one pair of heels into countless different thigh-high boots. All right, so just go ahead and thread that all the way through. And just something to remember, guys, I would recommend that you place your heel on the seam of that sock just so that the heel does not puncture your sock. Now, if you want your heel to puncture your sock, that is totally fine as well. If the heel is probably, probably the same color as the sock, then perfect. But this is, this is what we have so far. Congratulations, guys. You just made yourself your first pair of thigh-high boots. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like these, do not forget to leave me a like, leave me a comment in the comment section below, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.